Hello everybody, I'm Robert Hawes. I'm the research leader here at Bear Sprites VS Labs, and today we'll be talking about a brand new operating system that has recently been released called Fuchsia. Fuchsia is a brand new operating system built entirely from scratch, including the kernel, which is called Zircon, and it has also seen its first commercial release via the Nest Hub platform from Google. Google has spent the past couple years working on designing Fuchsia and targeting it towards IoT and embedded devices. This is interesting because Fuchsia, unlike some of its more common competitors, supports a microkernel design. This means that a lot of the normal direct-to-kernel exploits and attacks affecting some of the other operating systems no longer affect Fuchsia the same way. Exploitation is not entirely removed as a possibility for Fuchsia as a direct-to-kernel attack. Instead, they now require an additional exploiter chain in order to complete that full chain attack. This is quite interesting because it takes the skill level required for these type of attacks and amplifies them, making it harder for the average attacker. Instead of direct to kernel exploits, a lot of those TCP IP related vulnerabilities and maybe even the Bluetooth vulnerabilities no longer reside within the kernel. And instead, those are user mode components. This is very interesting. This means that when a vulnerability is found in the TCP IP stack, an attacker could try and exploit that user mode component. And instead of getting direct kernel access, they only get user mode access. They still require a local privilege escalation attack to escalate their privileges from user mode into the kernel inside of Zircon. This is quite interesting, and if you're interested in learning more about how this could affect your products, maybe even your consumers, or maybe you're just interested in general security concepts around Fuchsia, just leave a like and a comment, and we will go over some of the other interesting security concepts within Fuchsia. Some of these concepts can be quite interesting regarding how permissions and rights are handled, how file objects are operated on, how handled or checked regarding rights when you're calling into specific syscalls from user mode to the kernel regarding security research, or maybe even just product development. Understanding these security concepts can help developers understand what operating system could be the best use case for their products. If you're interested in learning more, please let us know, and we look forward to seeing you in the future.